Matthew, and welcome to week 15 of our Sweet Pub Quiz. Yes, we're getting closer to the Durban July. We are. Week, right? We All are. All the nominations, the final selections are out. And... When this airs, it'll be exactly a week until the Durban Oh, that's July. right. No, it won't. No, no, it's on no. a Saturday. It's on Saturday, yeah, you silly. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay. really cold today. Oh, so P.E. Say... is freezing. Oh. Took the dogs to walk this morning. It was freezing. This hat doesn't want to stay on. Uh, okay. Off you go. Question number one. Do It Again is hoping to win the Durban July for a third year running. But what gate has he been allocated? Oh, that's a good one. Mm. That's a good one. Okay. Where is trainer Eric Sands based? Should know this one. Yeah. Well, I've got him in lots of bets sometimes. Number three. We are going to do a number of Durban July questions. This is the first. Which two horses hold the highest merit rating of 134? Mm. Look that up. <laughs> Number four. The highest weight for the race is 60 kg. By contrast, what is the lowest weight? This is just for the feature of the Durban July. Question number five. Which horse is Mike de Kock's only runner in the feature race? Does he have more sometimes? I got you on that one. Mm. He normally has lots. Normally has lots. Okay, number six. Which horse is Moosey Yenny riding in the main race? This got scratched. No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> number seven. <laughs> the Port Elizabeth Gold Cup was previously 3,600 metres. What is it now? Mm. One of our favourite trainers used to win all the time. Yeah, with onesie. Mm. Shark Stratum, that mm. was. TF. True or false? Oh, <laughs> TF is your initiation of it. The track and ball grade two derby will be postponed due to inconsistent foot conditions on Saturday. Is that true or false? T O F, that is. <laughs> Question number nine, Dad. How old is Jockey Dennis Schwartz? He's a great jockey. Yeah, he's just oh. come out of his apprenticeship recently. He's well, not great, just, but not far off. No, he's, he's really good. Number 10. Who is the leading jockey on the Hollywood Back on Track Challenge? Didn't you have that last week? No, I had leading trainers. Oh, see, you mixed them up nicely. <laughs> right, how will prospective buyers be able to, to buy... buy on the Emperor's Palace National Yearling Sale at the end of this month, 31st. Mm. How will they be able to buy? This is the final one. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not going to be buying anything without cash, that's for sure. <laughs> Number 12, where is international trainer Ricky Yu based? Hmm. He is a really good trainer. Yeah, I wonder if he's in the demonstration. Is that a hint? <laughs> I heard movement on the other side of the locker room door. I heard Bizu say, Oh, it's you. And then there was gunfire. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Got your databases. I want to interrogate every person in Paris with the name you. We have rounded up all the people in Paris with the name you. Finally, we are getting somewhere. Number 13. What is going on with this hat today? I think it's all my <laughs> <laughs> Right. Who's the malicious turf club? Turf club. CEO. You know him. You know him well. I do know him well. He used to be in PE. Yeah, Mum said that apparently he sent a card of congratulations when I was born. Oh, did he? Yeah, that's what Mum said. He used to work for Spexies. <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers. Doesn't come up in the ranks just a bit. Yeah. Number 14. <laughs> Grade 1 July Cup is Europe's premier sprint and it took place last week. Where was this race held? TOF. True or false? <laughs> That's going to stick, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the most expensive yearling in the world was sold last week for a whopping 80 million rand in Japan. That's so true or false? crazy. Hmm. Crazy. Uh, good. The hamburgers are expensive over there, isn't it? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Especially Wagyu and beef and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So this week we're doing a little alternative from Name the Horse from the Emoji. We are going to do Name the Person from the Photo. 
Obviously, don't name John or Emma Sweet. <laughs> I'm the one with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm in dresses. Um, no, not us. Who is the other person in the photo? You shouldn't have that one. <laughs> and number 17, another one. We've mentioned him today. One of them. One of them. One of them. Mm. And the last one. What's that? Our mate. Okay, number 19. What is the minimum cost for a quartet? Why well, is it different from other races? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's easy then, isn't it? <laughs> it's one of the questions. Okay, lastly, number 20. You'll, you'll enjoy this one. You'll, get, you'll, you'll make some money if, out of this one. Devon Habib has ridden four times since the lockdown for a certain trainer. And she had two wins and two seconds for that trainer. Bottom was 20 to 1. Who is the trainer? That's a good one. That is again. a good one. He's only ridden four times and he's won one second, one second. That's for the 20 to 1 shot. Really good going, that is. Mm. And we're on to the answers already. Can you believe it? <laughs> you did not know that. Okay. Answers question number one. Dad, which case is do it again placed? These wheat. These wheat. That would be 18, 18. for you, English French. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible draw. Well, we've got, uh, you'd be surprised how many horses have won from the very wide draw. People think it's a shocking draw. Be surprised how many winners are going back. So it's... So you're saying do it again is going to win the third time? Yeah. Could you do. think really? Could do. Good to know. Yeah. Answer number two. Eric Sands is, of course, based in Milmerton. Mm -hmm. Number three. The, the DJ... Durban July. DJ. DJ. <laughs> TM. <laughs> get with it, Dad. Get with it. It's like a newsroom. Well, uh, Things go DJ on. question. Talk about the newsroom later. <laughs> DJ, which, go on, you do it. Okay, which two horses hold the highest merit rating of 134? That, of course, would be Vardy and Rainbow Bridge. Mm. They are also carrying 60 kilos. It's, it's going to be a, it's a tough one. It's going to be fun, though. It's going to be a great day. Can't wait. Yeah. Are we going to do a video of us? What? How we celebrate at home. Yeah, we could do. Dress oh, up. Oh, if you haven't, yeah, you, when you see this video and you want to do the Durban July, I've made a video, which I've put on YouTube, on how to make your selections. And it's a whole video on how to do it on uh, form grids. So Very Durban July specific. Oh, yeah, so only how to use form grids exactly for the Durban July. Yeah, yeah that's a good one, eh? So number four, Dad, what is the lowest weight that a horse can carry in the future race? 52. 52. I believe there are a number of horses going to be carrying 52. You think that's a, a huge difference from 60? Yeah. Sure. No, I know. Well, the, the ones that got 52, the horses aren't as good. Yeah. So, so even less, that, that's chance. honestly the whole purpose of this all. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So Mike de Kock, answer number five. His only runner in the feature race will be Socrat. Mm. Socrat was a, an answer last week. Remember we said where was Socrat bred? And you did an amazing accent. Yeah, too late. <laughs> no, Dad. Just that's it, Mike, you silly bugger. <laughs> okay, which horse is Moosey riding? Got the green light. Got the green light for that one. Mm. <laughs> that was really lame. <laughs> Number seven, the Port Elizabeth Gold Cup has been reduced from 3,600 metres to 3,200 metres. It previously was the longest race in the country. However, the NHR, NHRA, is that right? The National Horse Race, NHRA, said that the decision was an easy one to try and keep it in line with the rest of the races across the country. So that that is now equal longest with the rest of them. Jacques will be upset. Jacques to him. Yeah, he was an expert at that. As is, he likes the last one. Yeah. T or F? <laughs> <laughs> T or F? He'll be doing GR2 soon instead of writing it out in full. GR2 is a common term for grade 2. Yeah, I know it is. Okay, so the GR2, 
<laughs> Track and Bull Derby will be postponed due to inconsistent underfoot conditions. <laughs> this is false. <laughs> you asked that question. It's obviously false. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, the, it was run. Um, it was the last race run on Scottsville before it was abandoned. Right. So it didn't get cancelled or postponed. Get checked out. No, they raced it. It was the last one run. But you're trying to confuse me. <laughs> How old is the jockey Dennis Schwartz then? Come on. He has just celebrated his 21st birthday recently. So happy birthday to you, Dennis, if you're watching. Happy birthday to you. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We had karaoke last week. <laughs> Once a month is plenty for our I audience. I did the same as well last week. Oh, I don't think anyone will forget that. <laughs> Number ten. 10, the leading jockey on the Hollywood Back on Track Challenge is of course Keegan DeMello. I must say, I don't actually know how that point system works. Because there's a jockey, uh, Warren Kennedy under him, yeah. has equal amount of rides and more wins and more places. Hmm. But Keegan DeMello somehow has more points. I mean, he's done exceptionally well, but I don't see how hmm. he's got more points. If anybody knows, let me know. Yeah, please, or point me in the direction of an article. Yeah, I'm not sure if it'll be a question. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> Number 11, how are prospective buyers attending the yearling sale? By Zoom. Zoom! And which is a fabulous part. If you haven't got Zoom, then you probably haven't got any buyers. <laughs> <laughs> Unemployed or friendless. <laughs> Shame, that's mean. <laughs> Not untrue though. <laughs> okay, international trainer Ricky Yu is of course in Hong Kong. Mm, all the demonstrations there and the new laws and plenty going on. I wonder how that affects the horse racing. I wonder what they're They're still going ahead. Yeah, no. But I'm just wondering what the Chinese government comes in. Anyway. No idea. Okay, it was Michael Mishworth, sorry Mike, who is uh, now the Turf Club, Turf Club in Mauritius, CEO, Michael Mishworth. Great stuff. Mm. Great, great stuff. Can I tell you a story? You're going to tell it anyway, <laughs> I can tell. Well, I July Cup is held in Newmarket in the UK and it actually took place last week with quite a fun little story to it. So there's a new jockey out and about called Kieran Fallon who is son of Kieran Fallon uh. <laughs> and um, of course everyone knows the senior Kenya Fallon as a really good jockey and his son this week won on a horse called Oxted and it is his first grade one winner. And it's quite ironic because this is one of the very few grade ones that his dad couldn't actually win. Okay. Huh. Fun go. fact of the day. Okay, dad number 15. TOF. <laughs> the most expensive yearling the world was sold last week for a whopping 80 million rand. True or false? It is true. It is true. Yeah. This is a cult by Deep Impact and is to be trained by Tomo Kazu. Tecano. Tecano. Mm. Been practicing that, haven't you? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Number 16, if you don't know who this person is, I'm horrified. Are you a, even a racing fan? No, we're not going to tell him because they've got to know. Oh, they're going to know. They've got to know. The yeah. next. It's not Frankie. It is Frankie. It is Frankie. Yeah, yeah, okay. Number 17 oh. is our Moosey Yenny. Ah, Moosey. Yeah. And 18, that would be our local jockey, Teak Gould. He gets all the major rides now because... Um, and the jockeys. Train, yeah. In particular, is not in PE. He's based in Cape Town. Yep. All right, so Alan Cliff, who used to use him all the time, now he's Teak Gould. Using our Teak. Yeah. Number 19, what's the minimum cost for a quartet? Six rand. <laughs> Everything is six rand. I know, good. I know. <laughs> but there might be people out there who don't know. No, that's quite true. Okay. Now, the train, uh, Devin Habib has ridden for Jeff Woodruff four times since the lockdown. Mm -hmm. And he's, as I say, he's won two of them and been placed in the other two. So if you see them together, 
in the near future. Feel very good terms. Good combo. And there's definitely, a, definitely a place bank there. But you, you should do them each way because that's how sad it's twenty to one. One on the twenty to one. That's well worth having money on. Hmm. So that's great to know. Oh goodness, is it in the quiz already? Uh, that's because it's cold, you rushed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for joining us again for our 15th quiz. Yeah, it's good. It's getting shown everywhere now. It's it good. is. Good fun. Yeah. I get lots of fun letters. We love all the international following that we're starting to get. We've got some views from New Zealand, from Mauritius, from UK, from Ireland. And you know who the one in the UK is? No. It is your... Not your cousin, it's my cousin, yeah. who happens, happened to be Miss World. Oh, Leslie! Leslie Langley, 1966, yeah. she's Miss World. And she comes on and she watches it in England. But on, she's supporting she, us, she not said, Yeah, she said, I have no racist. idea what you're talking about. She said, <laughs> but it's so that's much so fun, cute. it's nice, it's nice to see you both. Oh, oh that's, that's so cute. Hey, Leslie! Hi, Leslie! <laughs> She'll probably watch this. <laughs> Well, there we go. That's it for this That's week's it. quiz. Yep. Don't forget to... See you next week. You're supposed to do my catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like, share and comment. <laughs> okay, bye. See ya.